What's up, guys? Welcome to BFR Tuesday. My name is Ed LaCara, and I am here to answer any questions that you might have regarding blood flow restriction training, um, maybe anything from a rehab standpoint, from a performance standpoint. It can be um, questions about usage or how to use anything that you need to safely and effectively implement BFR into your training or fitness or rehab or that of your clients and patients. So I usually spend, um, you know, 10 or 15 minutes answering any questions. And the best way to answer or ask a question is in the upper right hand corner, there should be an area that says uh, chat and you can just type your message. Like right now I am typing hello from Dallas. So pop in those questions and I'd be happy to answer whatever you got right now. Any questions? All right, if no questions popping up, um, I'm trying to think of something that was interesting that came in this week. Um, I am seeing a lot more people wanting to uh, implement not from rehab standpoint, but just from a general fitness and programming standpoint. So um, using blood flow restriction to augment their normal training. So let's say I train, um, I go to CrossFit and I go four days a week and, um, but I'm having certain, certain areas that I'd like to improve upon. Like for me, um, I have like, the craziest, tightest calves all the time after longer distance running. Um, I have a propensity to, to create a calf strain, especially on my left side. Um, my flexibility, my range of motion, all that is good. I just know I need to continue to strengthen um, my calf. So I could use BFR to augment my, my calf straining to make sure um, that my calf is prepared, my calves are prepared to do um, whatever it is that I want to do, whether that be running or, um, or uh, jumping rope or double unders or whatever that is. So um, uh, Lewis, I'm showing that my, my, my camera's on, so um, should be able to, my, Maybe it's blocked off, I'm not sure. So how would I do that? I would do my normal training and then I would I would choose two exercises um, to do for my calves specifically. So um, you can use the 30, 15, 15, 15 repetition range, 20% of your one rep max, using between 60 and 80% limb occlusion pressure for the lower extremity. And I would do um, a standing calf raise. And then I would take a one minute rest in between, and then, then I would reinflate my cuffs, and then I would do a seated calf raise. So that way I would hit my gastrocnemius, and I would also hit my soleus muscle. Um, and I would try to do that between two and three times a week. If I have an area of weakness, try to hit that area two to three times per week. So then that way um, you can increase that strength and hypertrophy within uh, about three to four weeks, you'll start to see a change. So. Um, if it was my 
arm size, like I wanted to increase my bicep and tricep size, my upper arm size. Then two to three days a week, I would augment my normal training and I would do bicep curl and tricep extension or something along those lines. Um, and that will help to kind of focus and isolate certain areas that you're wanting to um, improve upon. In addition, it won't take you very long. It'll take uh, six minutes per exercise, just about five minutes and 40 seconds if you follow the 30, 15, 15, 15 protocol with two seconds up, no hold, two seconds down. So it won't take very much time and um, really see accelerated gains in that. And I'll try to post something on my um, BFR University Instagram in the near future uh, with some different training uh, thoughts uh, for general fitness. So that hopefully that helps um, using BFR as an augment to your normal training with the underlying philosophy that regular training, high intensity training um, is for the healthy individual still better than BFR in isolation. I wouldn't do BFR as my only way of training. I would use BFR to augment my normal training in a healthy individual. All right, hopefully uh, that helps with some thought process around BFR. If you ever have any questions, you can always reach out to me, Dr. LaCara at bfruniversity.com. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Uh, John asked a question. Three months ago, I had a bicycle crash and separated my shoulder, grade three, no surgery required. Will BFR help that healing? Um, absolutely, because you're gonna you're gonna be doing light loads three months post. You should be pretty good, I would think. Pressing might be a little bit painful, so you can use your lighter loads and um, improve the strength of uh, the shoulder. With that grade three separation, I would emphasize a lot of uh, rowing for the back. I would emphasize a lot of scapular work, um, like over the ball, doing uh, shoulder raises, and um, you can look on my YouTube channel. And I've got a BFR warm up. Um, that would be good. It's uh, about a nine minute upper extremity uh, movement pattern for the shoulder. And um, it helps to build um, endurance. And you'll, but you also get some uh, strength and size uh, with that protocol. And that's, um, that is my YouTube channel is just under my name. So YouTube is just um, Ed LaCara. It might, it might be, uh, uh, is it? Yeah, just look under Ed LaCara. That'll I, it might have my credentials, but it's I'm pretty sure it's just under Ed LaCara. Um, and look for um, upper extremity uh, warm up protocol with BFR. I also have a lower extremity bow protocol as well for anybody that's interested. All right, hope that helps. All right, everybody, getting back to work, seeing patients. So I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Thank you.